Oh, oh you're clapping now. I'm in a good mood. <sighs> you're clapping, but your eyes are just dead. Because you discovered oh. the Dark Crystal's been cancelled on there. Jesus, man. I could have cried. I can I imagine. I want to know what happened to D. <laughs> oh. I wanted look, to know what happened to D at the end. I think I, is it not maybe one of these bullshit things where they're trying to create a, a fan a fan fury? Possibly. I kind of thought that because they put so much money into this fucking yeah. thing, and they've had it sitting there. And the, I think the only reason that it's been genuinely delayed is COVID, because yeah. you've got eighty puppeteers all working in close quarters. You can't make it, so I Miss, think it's been delayed. Miss Piggy will just be riddled. Oh. It'll be fucking rotten in there Kermit the Frog, imagine oh. that, Covid was maybe started by Beaker They do carry out some science experiments, don't they? I'm not oh. sure they're qualified at all no. Jesus the, the Count, he's just going about injecting his fangs But wasn't Sesame Beaker Street. the greatest? Yeah. I thought He didn't do anything I found I see you as my Beaker Okay, that's good to know Eh uh, you, you, you're that rather stern bald eagle The blue guy Oh, he's wonderful Isn't he? He's great He has gravitas He's got a gravy tit The, um, <coughs> the Muppets were never really my thing It was all very worthy But it was a little bit American For kids TV Even though it was essentially a British programme Was it? Yeah The Muppets, was it? Yeah. Sesame Street British? No, but the Muppets were I think it was made here Was it? Yeah, isn't that bizarre? I don't think they could get it sold in well, America. Well, Jim Henson, I'm led to believe, died because he refused medical treatment. Is, it, is that right? Yeah, he wouldn't take his pills or something. Oh. Something a bit, there was something... He was probably a bit not terminal anyway. Not a Christian anyway. scientist or something like No, it was something quite simplistic, minor that killed him, I believe. I'm, I may be wrong, like most things I say. I'm away to something here. Oh, God, you are as well. I like those green lights. Okay, I'm away to do the de-esser because you're a bit sibilant. Sibilant. There we go. It's gone. Is that better? That's better. Good. Your control panel. If yeah. only life was so easy, eh? Oh, God. Imagine if you could have a remote control and you could just pause stuff. You've been watching Adam Sandler films. No, no, I've not. I've, no, I don't. I hate Adam Sandler films. But Benny Hill would always do one where he'd stop and then take people's bras, bras off. off and and be a bit of rapey. <laughs> rapey bastard. The um, TV was interesting this morning. Oh, oh. I turned on. Oh, no. What did you see? I was genuinely impressed for once. Oh. Jetpacks. I like all the jetpacks that are getting the, made. I've seen yeah. a new one, but uh-huh. the, the, the reckoning, British company, British guy. Yes, Marine. And he's in, he's built one and it's like got hand bits. It's yeah. like a gauntlets and then the back part. But he's thinking the best application is for mountain rescue. So if someone, oh, somebody's good. lost, like, Drones and shit. You can use a drone to find people. Yeah. You could use a drone to take emergency stuff to people. But this guy showed you he could nip up this. A journey that takes five hours, he can do it in 90 seconds. Oh, it's great. It's insane. Have you but seen it's him so take controlled. off? It's like, Have you seen him take off from the back of the aircraft carrier yeah. and go around the yeah. all the dignitaries on the boat? But it looks so safe. But he says yeah. people can learn how to do it in five minutes. It can, not everyone. Yeah. I'd fucking crash into and a wheelie bin and die. But do you know what they're doing now? What? They're making a hover bike and it's a, a full, it's a beautiful looking bike using okay. all the same technology. Wow. Self balancing the whole thing. You just ride it about but the sky. But this guy's going oh. about, really, you thought, Jesus Christ, that that's something. And he, he basically, from cold start, mm-hmm. he could get it up and running in 40 seconds. Amazing. So the BBC are like, could you fly off? And he's like, give me a second, 40 seconds, whoop, away he went. But then, turn, change the channel, the world's fastest wheelie bin. <laughs> Some fan has got this wheelie bin and he's got wheels on it. Can go 45 <laughs> miles an hour. I thought, so in the first act, I was good. Aren't humans really clever? I thought, it's I impressive. prefer the wheelie bin. And then you went to, well, <laughs> very few applications for the world's fastest wheelie bin. But they said, not a lot. Um, um, yeah, g- g- congratulations on the, the world record. He says, well, there wasn't one to lie. Oh it's, my it's the world's first f- speedy wheelie bin. Well, at the moment, that's that gives us hope for humanity because at the moment we're we're heading towards lockdown again. By the time people hear this, we'll probably be in lockdown. Um, we look up. I don't th- know there's what's basically going. a plague ship at the bottom of the street, which is a, yes. a students' <laughs> halls of residence. But they've got signs up saying "Bring weed, bring weed." Hello, mum. 
Yeah, just all, all the usual witty student <laughs> stuff. 9K for this. That was the one down in England. Oh, because right. I don't, they're adults. Yeah. You can't force people just to stay in a bit. What? It's a, it's a tricky one. It's difficult. It's a tricky one because because they're uh, not employees of the university. They they are they are clients. They're clients. Yeah, they're pay, not, they, you're, you're not a student anymore. You're a client. client you're a yeah. client. Yeah. And there is an issue with that, and I'm not sure. How do you go about this one? Two weeks is a good time to try out the does my hair self wash, mm, which is the classic uh, student yeah, trope. Just you know? Lazy bastards. But you see the little rooms. But uh, that that. There was one on the TV and as a student he goes, oh poor me, can we? He had no socks on and he had a haircut and he was going on bed. It scanned his room and he had his, 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 his iPhone, he had his tablet, he had his com- computer, he had just everything, all the gear. I've thought about this a lot and it's like uh, the end of the world's coming. No, or the remote. Right, mm-hmm. you've got the remote and you can pause the mm-hmm. world. And people mm-hmm. say, what would you do? Would you rob banks? No, I'd stay in the house, but it's quiet. Oh, oh, that'd be wonderful. The, I just pause outside so it could just, oh, just could silence. Leave me alone even more. Oh, but like I remember in back to when I was a student in the halls of residence, and you had nothing. Yeah, you were in a room with a sink which I pitched in, and I would have shot a shot in a bag and threw out the window. You didn't have to do that. There was a you toilet just, two just, down. too uh, far away. All I had was a, a wee tranny radio, yeah. and you know, it came in. I managed. <laughs> It didn't affect you at all. But all the shit they've got. Again, all the shit. Students all stuck with each other. Well, even at that, obviously, we're getting old as fuck. But uh, in our lifetime, if you were cut off from someone, you were cut off. Yeah. There was no way to... Well, I've told people before, if, if the lockdown happened in the 1980s when we were in the council house, you would have had three channels. Yeah, that's it. How was that? You'd have went fucking mental. Yeah. Uh, just no, the boots, just wonderful. You, yeah, no, no, no. We're, we're well suited for... Yeah. I wanted a new game during lockdown. I just bought it, just downloaded bought it, it bought played it, it, bought it. I had a great time, watched movies, got mm. Netflix. That's me started on Netflix this year because of it. Have you watched everything on it? Everything. Twice. Yeah, yeah. No, I've, uh, I'm quite. Mm, I'm not a TV particular. person. Mm-hmm. So because we review films now, I watch a movie for sure every week. But okay. I used to not watch There's a lot. There's a lot of good food content. I can't watch anything like that no? with food. No, it disgusts There's me. There's a word called uh, ugly delicious. Oh. Mm. It even sounds bad. No, I don't like it. Pizzas? No, pizzas are horrible. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's all what <laughs> Italian listeners got. <laughs> yeah. Just all switched off. But I don't, I, I just don't. I'm not a food person at all. You know, no, 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 yeah. You're you not, can see that. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a food person. They used to say, in the, before the Berlin Wall came down, and yeah. these these Germans, they had a lot big problem with worms because they ate oh. so much pig meat. Right. Okay. And pigs at the time were just people don't realise this. Pig meat was riddled with worms. You could get oh. worms from eating pigs. It's right. they've dealt with it now, but they ate so much pig, their skin had a translucent quality because oh. we're just eating like just pig. That's all they're eating. Just oh. Trotters and now is it a rabbit? If you eat nothing but rabbit, you can die. Starve to death on it. Yeah. It's lacking There's nothing something. in it. Yeah. Yeah, well, it can guy. Yeah, there's, there's, there's missing you, like most of what we need. That's in my SAS survival book. It's chapter one. You cannot live on rabbits alone. No, you can't. And What's that's the alone? easiest to get. And a lot of people have uh, fallen foul of that because mm-hmm. they can hunt rabbits. You don't need to be really experienced, and you can grab Could rabbits. I be, would I be right, right in good. saying if you maybe ate the contents of their stomach, is it a vitamin you're lacking? Yes. So maybe if you ate what they'd been eating, Ooh. I wouldn't want to eat their stomach. You're eating sick. You've got the metabolism of a, of a dog. No human sick. <laughs> no, I wouldn't eat human sick. I'd eat rat. I'd eat cat sick. Oh, no? This is why I don't like food. it smells quite nice. It never smells nice. Cats, no, my cat did a shit this morning, I have to say. Made no. my mouth water a little bit. It's really beefy. <laughs> it didn't taste better or worse than a tin of corn beef. And it just had that beef smell. Like, no. Bovrily. no. I'm not. I'm not agreeing with anything you're, you're my, saying here. My pet dog, when I was a kid, periodically would run off. Okay. And it would go and find a dead sheep and roll about in it. Of course. But it loved eating uh, sheep shit. Yeah. Oh, they it would do. get. But can <laughs> it would really? Mm, you could tell. Really lip smacking. Yeah. You know that bits the corner of a dog's mouth, the black frills. Mm-hmm. The sheep shit used to get right in there. I'd sometimes be up with my my dog. She was, uh, uh, 
lovely dog, cross collie spaniel. So lots oh, of energy, energetic, great fun. Uh-huh. And she would be running. You uh-huh. could see her smiling, and she'd hit the brakes and go, "I found a shit." I'm, I'm, oh. I'm eat it, and you're like, "Oh." And then it would come up and just lick your but face. She, yeah, she would spew it up about ten oh. minutes later. Oh, wonderful! And then look down and went, "That looks good." Then eat the spew My again. My auntie had a Doberman called Maximilian. Oh, good name. Good name. And she used to, if it had a bit of like gunk in the corner of its eye. Right. At the North East, you heard the expression, birds met. No. They used to call stuff in the corner of your eyes, birds, birds met, bird food, because you can, a little dry bit. Yeah. Anyway, she'd, she'd like a, a fingertip and wipe the eye with it and then do the other oh. eye. Oh! Double dipping Because the, th- the thing is They wouldn't have let A stranger's dog Lick them in the mouth But their dog's fine Yeah I don't, I don't That's really it. weird Isn't it It was um, uh, Suzanne's dogs Looping Had a birthday for her yesterday Because everyone's nutcases here I just got a tennis ball But everyone's singing Happy birthday To the dog Well I, no That's a step too far Of course it's a step too far I got There's it's a nonsense. tennis ball I went play The dog doesn't have a birthday No you're doing it for Suzanne You're just acknowledging That she's got a lovely dog No you're dog just encouraging Her stupidity Suzanne yeah, you're an idiot Are you listening to this She always listens to it I think she's aware I think Suzanne's had suspicions About herself for quite a while I bet you I watched her try and cut Her own thumb off with a saw I bet you she calls She goes Come to mummy Oh yeah, I'll be oh, all that. I'll be all okay. That. You seen the size of that dog? He still carries it around like I a don't, baby. I don't look at it. <laughs> I don't look at it. <laughs> the things that dog seen. Oh, that poor dog. She it's gone that thousand yards. Yeah. Tear. Traumatized. It's like it's been in Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> that look of being in a firefight for the last forty-eight oh. hours. <laughs> There's far too many dogs in this building. Ah, uh, have you allowed dogs upstairs yet? No, I don't think so. not allowed. Cause well, that's good, because the biggest cunt in the building, she's not coming in because she had a dog. And oh, that's good. Too, so. That's good. Good. You do, you do fall out with a few people, don't uh, you? Fa- well, no, they fall out with me because they're cunts. That's true. That's true. There's there's a couple of people, and they have dogs, but their do- every, the, the whole lot of them have got complex health issues, mm-hmm. including their dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could imagine. The dogs are in, in groups discussing their ailments. It's just the most extraordinary so, thing. Is there a WhatsApp group for the dog probably, as well? Probably. Probably. But there was, a, there was a rather butch lesbian couple. Used to be across the kind of old school lesbians. Yeah. Not these newfangled ones. The right, the right, <laughs> the good ones. The, the, good, les- the good old fashioned lesbians. The good old lesbians. fashioned lesbians. And they had a, a dog. And it must have been in the house with them. And they. It was living with two women. Yeah. And as butch as they were, they still had women's voices. Okay. So when the dog would come out, I'd go, hi, and it, my voice, it just pitched itself every <laughs> time. But they'd get annoyed with me. Yeah, because you've scared it. But they wouldn't have wiped up the pish. What? They're kind of expecting me to do it. Well, you caused it, to be fair. Well, no, fuck that. <laughs> but they have gone. They have gone. Uh, this, this building, I think everyone that watches this show realises by now, it's it an eclectic mix <laughs> An unusual bunch Well this We were discussing this oh, the other day This God. building Is ground zero For the culture war uh, Yeah Because there's There's a, there's an element Of artists <sighs> Who are wanting to Sharp elbow out Yes Artisans mm-hmm. Or the, the horny handed men of the soil They want rid of them They want rid of the mechanics That's right They want rid of the glass blowers mm-hmm. They want it purely to be the ethereals As they like to speak about themselves oh, well, They like the fucking We won't old, mention any names They like the levellers Remember this, those cunts The levellers Luddites This brings me on to the next thing After we record this We're going to do a short 10 minute recording Oh Just for, our, just for the patrons But We can say what we want in it can I use private. Can I use, n- n- use Naughty words You can say What the oh, fuck You want wow. You could go funny And uh, Well I've said it now let's, but, let's be honest I've never really been Self fair Well the, Do we censor us, ourselves? In some ways we do In some ways we do Because we? we don't bring Many people's names up Okay we well, brought Suzanne no, up No I, I like yeah, she, But she, she deserves it she, Well if you've walked about Dundee She's got her stickers everywhere I, you know what? Before she, she, I even met her, she, she, I went, uh, what cunt what? is defacing if I, every lampy? If, if I find out who's yeah. that, that thing is, I'm going to kick them up the arsehole. Yeah, so I said it's that. It's coming her way. Literally years before Sticker, I met her. Stickers. 
I come in here. The well, last hang out of the scoundrel is a sticker. A sticker. Oh, she's a sticker fiend. Oh, isn't she sticker? She's a sticker. She's, she's, pants on she's her got face. right sticky fingers as well. Always. Mm. Part of her nature, I think. Nature, yeah. Uh, just like, she, a, like a gecko. She can run up a glass wall. I've seen her going up the side of this building. Uh, shouting at her. It's like that scene out of Dracula. You know, when one of the brides, brides of Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to do a little 10 minute. So we're going to do a 10 minute. Just a quick one. Is there going to be any discussion topic? I would just get a free flow. Uh, well, what we're going to do is we could say to the patrons, mm -hmm. they can ask questions and we can discuss that question mm -hmm. in the 10 minutes. We could do it every now and then. Mm -hmm. Drop in a little special. So if you want to join us on Patreon, um, mm -hmm. you get an extra little special and you get a little vlog of me talking about it's nonsense like, in it's, the studio. You could describe it like this. The podcast is a, is a massage. Ooh. The extra 10 minute is the happy ending. Oh, goodness. That's all you need. That's it's, all you need. It's, it's, it's time, can, <laughs> time accurate. Time accurate. Very quick wrist action. Oh, like, like lightning. Because he, all his leather work, he's fast. It's my Parkinson's. Oh, he's and, fast. So getting back to, oh, almost, I almost said her name. But one day she was talking to me a few mm. weeks ago and I said, whatever your name is, could you hold on for a second? And I went quiet. And she went, what? I said, no, I just want you to stop speaking. I can't listen to you. <laughs> and she got really offended, but she was talking utter shit. Well, she's... she's a, shit. She's against social media. Oh, God. For no apart... Again, just all social media is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, well, that's bl blatantly not true. Uh-huh. But, uh, yeah, she, she, yeah, but as I've said to you before, never trust a fucking hippie with money. Never. Because they're so ethereal... Yeah But their pockets are full of dirty 50 pound notes They're loaded They're loaded And these particular ones are fucking the loaded The dirtier, dirtier a hippie, hippie is Yeah It's like the Finhorn Foundation Yeah mm -hmm. They've got these eco homes But they've been flown in from Baden-Baden <laughs> You're like by helicopter Yeah You're like it's bullshit It's not real Nothing No nothing to do This, this shower of shit downstairs mm -hmm. they're, They've just got so much money at the moment they're taking There's over. A I was just saying they're them. taking over the whole. There's area. a lot of them. They're all coming in, but no one can do anything. There's a lot of strength in strength in numbers. Yeah. The thing is, you could go through them and dip. you get a oh, pickaxe handle. You'd be through that a lot. No, because they do the pacifists. I don't think. I don't think even that. I'd just start swinging, mm. flailing. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do: spinning mm -hmm. around and flailing while yeah. screaming and crying. Yeah. They don't come near you. They wouldn't they come near you. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to feel there's a bit of a coup happening in this building. There is a coup. They're One day they yeah. will come in. And Chris is hanging by his feet from a lamppost could, And they're in charge I could see that Well, And you have I, to give them pocket money to come through the front last door Last week I came down This a, a woman came out I've never seen her in my life mm -hmm. You can't park there That belongs to whoever it is that mm. And I went, what do you mean? It, says, it belongs to them, you can't park there mm. And I went, I can park where the fuck I want Mm -hmm. And she went, well, I'm telling you, and I says, I'm telling you, you fucking cunt. Uh, and I thought, if someone's going to be like that, you have to go to a thousand. You've, yeah, it says, escalate. Now I know your fucking face. If there's a mark on that fucking car, I will <laughs> put that fucking door in to get you. And she's like, oh, I'd run away. But it's just a stranger telling you where... You I paid to park there. There's issues with the parking in this building. There's, yeah. a, there's, the, there's the flamboyant pirate. <laughs> he 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 he's all over his territory, isn't he? Oh, you're not allowed to he's park like in a, his, he's, yeah. he's like a fey velociraptor. Uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> purple he's, bearded twat. He's swapped his 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 orange motorbike for another one. Is uh, he uh, a, a, a more manly one? I think uh, an old Enfield or something. <sighs> he's got. Well, he never pays his bills. The fucker. No, he does not. Did, were you interested to find out that you pay more in tax than the president of the United States of America? Um, I give more in charity <laughs> than he gives in tax. It's extraordinary. I was really don't like to get political, but I think this might be the thing that cuts through. Well, the thing is with this, um, of course we don't get political on it. No. But anyone, even someone who sides with them, will have to say, "Oh, come on, dude." Yeah, and to go down the route of so well, he's, that's just he's business. Con he's contributing nothing to America. Nothing. A, he never wanted to be president, though. That's no, the I great don't think thing. he did. He didn't. He he thought it was going to big advertising campaign to sell steaks. He just thought it was going to help his brother. Yeah, extraordinary America. That the very we've spoken this before. Their enthusiasm, 
they're like the, the, the kind of entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, wonderful. They feel like they can all, you can all do it if you just work hard. Yeah. That's a great thing, mm -hmm. but that does leave them prone to bullshit. Uh, yeah, and I think, you know where I've been seeing the bullshit recently, and you've mm -hmm. probably seen this on YouTube, yeah. every second advert is, how do you make 20,000 a month from your home? And it's all these bullshit adverts. Yeah. Now, they have to be working somewhere. Mm. Someone must be signing up for the $250 yeah, course. Yeah. Someone has to be doing it. They've got to. And it's all, as I've always said, in a gold rush, sell shovels. So yeah. if you're selling a dream, mm -hmm. that's what people want. Mm. And they're just selling the dream. But you set yourself the up. opportunity they believe. You, you, it's sell not your, opportunity. you set yourself up as a successful businessman, but your business is taking money off people to tell them how to be a successful businessman. Yeah, it's like when... Um, you go to a course, and there's a lot of these courses mm -hmm. run around Dundee by private firms, getting people started in business. Mm. No, they're the business. They're the business. You're the product. You're just you've already yeah. failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go to that course to learn, you've failed. You're fucked. Because I run several businesses now and have been for a few years. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I could tell people, you have to run it like being an artist. You have to be creative at every point. Yeah. And whatever you're doing, even if it's exactly the same as your neighbour, you've got to be you flexible. Have to be, you'll have to be different. You'll Flexibility, have to, man. Yeah, you can't learn that. You have to be working, mm -hmm. and you learn things the hard way. Because, uh, say, Richard Branson, that cunt came in here and said, "Here's how to run your business." He but, would be wrong because he doesn't his, know it from the build, inside. His businesses have failed like fuck. Yeah, half the half. When you become very wealthy, your job is maintaining that wealth. That's true. That is true. It's yeah. just it's avoiding tax. Yeah, that's what they do. This they, they have they have teams of lawyers just avoiding. Mm -hmm. It's a full time job being wealthy. Mm -hmm. It's greedy. I, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Richard Branson's an asshole. Like he started off with the the music label, but they said he hated music. He's got no knowledge. I can believe of music. that. Yeah, nothing. That's... In fact, guys like Alan Sugar and that they hate creative people. They're not creative. Now, my friend, mm -hmm. he was. Um, uh, uh, an engineer Okay So the Everything guy, guy. Everything Now I'd go surfing with him mm -hmm. And when I took off on a wave The wave had to feel right for me I had to You just had yeah. to Wave Jesus You we've, just we've had to get it in this. your mind uh -huh. Yeah But he said Did you feel it in your perineum? He says when it, Yeah exactly mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. And you know And it's what, what we're talking about Is the exact same thing uh -huh. But I took it from feel I took it from the experience Of going Oh this is going to dump I want to go on this wave but he would talk about it by angles, positioning, oh. and he took all the fucking fun out of it. But when I talked about it, just went, oh, that felt bad to go on that. He, oh, there's no such thing as feeling bad. You're just using your experience. Oh. And why can't you just put it out in proper words? And as soon as you said to him, I I, nah, I don't feel right about that area. I'm going to go up there. It, he, he would admit, we're talking about the same thing. Yeah. But there's no such thing as feel. Oh. And I went, but there is. Oh. This is because if you catch a ball and you oh. think about it in angles, you will not catch it. You've got to do it instinctively. Mm -hmm. And instinctively is a part of it. And you can improve that instinct mm -hmm. by muscle memory, training, repetition. This my is, mu my muscle memory is not good. You picked up that cup fine. Did I? Yeah. What you didn't I? even think. See? Yeah. <laughs> so he got mad at me. Mm. And I remember he was... Did he, did he throw wife, some sand in your face? No, he wasn't. He wasn't that adept. You'd have to describe throwing the sand. Okay. But his wife left him. Oh. And I went down. Did he to record see him. an album? Oh, worse than this. He. Uh, this was the first time we really talked about oh, you know him feelings. splitting up, and it wasn't feelings. No. He'd printed out all the problems that had happened. It was like a PowerPoint presentation. That's that's on the spectrum, obviously. But full and and I went. I was like, dude, you, what is this? How are you How are you coping? What's happening? What's going on with you, mate? Just being like uh, a mate. And he went, well, I'll tell you how I'm feeling. If you look at Appendix 3, oh, and he described these feelings by all these lines drawn to different ways and how he got there. How I'm surprised that? you left him, eh? Yeah. She was a cracker as well. Was she? Oh, my goodness. Some people marry, and they're extraordinary. Yeah, like I've been doing a rabbit hole, and there's a woman I follow. No, I don't follow her on Twitter, but she's a woman with two hundred forty thousand tweets. Oh, then same, yeah, yeah, okay. But her, um, her dad, I can name her dad because he's a public figure. But his name is Willie Patterson, but okay. I don't know if any of the listeners know. There was a comic book guy, comic book character called Jeff Hawk. It was like a kind of British version of a. Uh, 
Dan Dare. Well, no, Dan oh, Dare right. was British. Yeah, it was another Dan Dare. Another Dan Dare. Okay, but he just, just he was bonkers, and his wife was bo- the entire family are utterly mental. It's extraordinary yeah, because she's a bit of a tyrant but, in town, but they, isn't they, she? Yeah, they just met each other. These two, the, her mum and dad met each other. They should never. They should have known. I've got some problems here. Mm-hmm. I don't want to double down on this. Yeah, but the th- thing is, crazy people, people who aren't crazy, maybe don't want to marry them. That's and no, it would be fun. I crazy think people. some people. It's like uh, was it when. Um, Two people are together and they go insane. Remember, there was these two yeah, girls yeah. on the madness on yeah, the motorway. They, well, the, the bulgers, the bulger killers, individually, the, well, they may have been weird little just bastards. Just kids. But, but they need that, they met each other and that formed. Well, this guy I'm telling you about, mm-hmm. I have another mate mm-hmm. I'm surfing with. Now, I'd been to tea in the park with the other guy and mm. had a great day laughing all day, chilling. Oh. My other mate would go out surfing together, we'll laugh all day, chilling, no problem. When those two were together, all the laughing stopped and they become quite toxic. Sexual? No, toxic as fuck actually. They would say the most terrible things. It got a bit... They were, you know, they were fighting for your affection. Is that what it was? Mm-hmm. Toxic though, man. They were like... Uh, they they were, weren't good together. They, they brought out the worst in each other. They were fighting for the, the stasis. Derek's best mate. Oh, a lot of drugs. Was there? But, um, yeah, and it uh, was they were very toxic together. But when you went anywhere on your own with them, they were just normal guys. You have met people and you instantly hate them after two seconds. You go, I hate that cunt. Yeah. I generally tell them. I do get that. I never used to be like that. Oh, I just, but I am now. I, just I really tell them. people. No, no. I just don't speak to them. I just, I just tell them now. I just go, I'm going to fuck off. Oh, life, because we're, we're on finite time. We're running out of time. Like, I've started doing a thing I never did. Eight. If I'm watching a film and it's garbage, I stop watching it. Yes, I've, but this is a new thing for me. I, I, just I would always watch a film to the end. Yeah, like there's a film popped up on Netflix called Enola Enola Holmes. Yeah, is Art it? Utter garbage. Oh shit! I won't watch it then. But I was just like, See, that's enough for me because you're actually really enjoying your film. It's so. just a lassie who's in Stranger Things who yeah. I like, but she just looks the camera all the time. This is going terribly. Doof, pay it off. And you know who's playing? She's Sherlock Holmes is. It's Henry Cavill, isn't it? Yeah. Henry Cavill doesn't strike me as Sherlock Holmesy. His chest muscles are... His big bum are, chin. Yeah, his bum chin. He's a pretty shit actor, isn't he? He's not great. He's quite a wee guy. He seems quite charming, though. Is I he watched charming? a video of him. He's in The Witcher. Have you seen that? Is it any good? It's fruity. Fruity. I kind of enjoyed it, yeah. It's okay, the, I'll give it a he, go. There's a woman in it that I think you'd enjoy. All right. She's okay. quite fierce. Oh, I like that. Bossy. Oh, I love that. Well, he um, he done a video, mm-hmm. and I found myself watching all the way through because it turns out he's really into World of Warcraft, and he built oh, himself a, a gaming PC. Oh my god! I've and I just sat and watched it for is he nerdy? fifteen minutes. Is he nerdy? Oh yeah, he is properly. Nerdy he, like. he was he was he was boinking Gina Caruso. Gina Caruso, that big muscly lassie from the cage thing. I don't know. Can't have that was in, um, she was, she's like a tank. You like her. Oh, the cage fighter. Yeah. Is it Caruso? Caruso. Whatever her name is. Car- Car- whatever. Yeah, she's yeah. alright. I like they, her. They, they she can't her. act. Oh, she's a terrible but actor. she has great presence. She's a real it's, personality. Yeah, she's, if she's just, yeah. yeah, if she's silent. If she's silent and punching people in the face. If she, she takes a Schwarzenegger she, approach. She was in that Mandalorian. Oh, I've still not seen that. Oh man, that's good. You know what? I've not seen it, but I saw the trailer for series mm, two, and it looks fantastic. Mm. Yeah, so it's old school. They filmed it with like uh, practical special effects. Long. Have you seen the studio they film it in? Mm. It's all LEDs, and they project. Oh, when you see them, LED technology is extraordinary. You it's, see all the background. Yeah, uh, nothing's there, they, uh, but they're in it, uh, and it's all surrounded. Oh, wonderful! LED, LEDs are. It's just, it's like people don't realise, but it's just, uh, it, the, I think the people that invented the, the LEDs, because they were just white, weren't they? Yeah. The people they that were... even white, they were, yeah, yeah. white. The people who were able to add nuance to it, I think they've got a, did they not get a Nobel Prize? Yeah, it was something like white thing, and blue or something. I found my, um, I found my watch cabinet, I mm. got a light, an LED strip. Oh my goodness. Right, so it sits, and it's, it's tiny. Does it change colour? 
Hey, no, I didn't. I'm not. It's not a complete tool. Oh, that's but it's, what. Oh. It, 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 it's got a motion detector on it, so when you open the door, it immediately goes on. Oh, that's actually quite nice. And you can you can change the the, the light. It's a soft. It's a warm a white warm, light. Oh, oh yeah, you wouldn't want to. And you can, like... but you can use it. You can take it down. You can use it to flash for a mess. It's just extraordinary. It's an aluminium thing, and oh. it's just it, it, the the it, the charge lasts forever. Well, this is something that being a cyclist Aye. that. LED lights oh, wow. when they came uh, out properly right, okay. And you didn't have 2D cells In something right, right. and they just ran out every night yeah. I have my stuff batteries it, until like 6 you, months and you, everything. you charge stuff up I love yeah. USB and you charge it's oh, incredible. USB is a great thing Isn't yeah. it? It's, but you're using a fraction of the energy The old light bulbs that I, the Daily Mail Want everybody to keep I crossed the line I felt with charging things Right Because I had an old tablet I had an old Nexus I charge 7 every, I charge everything here And I put you know, so you should in the holes. Yeah, and I put um, uh, you know the the reflector. Uh, it's like is it a two way mirror? Okay, that stuff. Okay, I thought as much. I bet there's one in here. Yeah, is and that I, you behind the toilet? I put it on the tablet. Uh huh. Right. Uh huh. I put the tablet in a frame and I made it a mirror in uh-huh. the hall. And when you walked past it, the little camera saw you walk past. So it would give you the weather and everything would come through the glass. Oh, wonderful! And it comes through like the bridge and of the old, enterprise. Yeah. And but smelling the ship of Well, the thing is, I had yeah, I had, shit. you set it up really nice like uh-huh. that. So you get the news headlines. Mm-hmm. Oh, you get the weather as you're oh. brushing your teeth. Oh, or you could ask it stuff, and oh. I would have it set up so it wouldn't come through the whole tablet, but just in the corner. Oh. So you ask Google something, and all the information would come up mm. in the corner there. Mm. And it looked great. It was flawless, and it ended up a friend of mine saw it and was so enamoured. They uh, got it for Christmas. So are we going out? Are we going away from batteries? Are they so going to go away? Is everything just going to be charged? Basically, up? my story though was I felt too. I went too far because I had to charge my mirror. Maybe. Do you know what I mean? Did I, I suppose, go too far? I suppose the energy used is far far smaller than. I just got a load of bulbs the other day. And each one of them, like 100 watt equivalent, yeah. is 12 watts. Yeah. And they're bright. these are super bright, and I think they're only 12 watts. Well, I've got smart, Nine watt. smart bulbs in the house. Oh, so they can, you can change the colour of them. Hold on. You can go to the party music, Alexa. Stop. Stop and right now. You go on about my fucking gadgets all the time. My, my house is space age. All my gadgets are useful. Look, this is. I've, I've got, got a lovely new preamp. A, a I've, compressor. Got, I've got an Alexa in every room. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I go, I go, hey, good night, Alexa. And it switches all the lights off the house. You. No, it says, good night, sweet dreams. Different thing. And then in the morning, you go, hey, good morning, Alexa. And it uh, disarms the alarm in the house. And it tells you a little fact for the day. Sings you a song. Mm. But I can, un- I can imagine if you were a single person, an Alexa would be quite a nice companion. Uh, it would give you like, the impression of friendship. Well, the the old one was you would have snooker on. Nobody plays. Nobody watches snooker on the TV. But you'd my, always my have it on in the used background. To watch it in a black and white television. <laughs> snooker. She was obsessed with it. <laughs> Do you want a colour TV or maybe be better? No, no, no. Happy with it. Happy with it. Well, but that was the snooker on in the background. Was the the noise of companionship, wasn't oh, it? Okay. Mm-hmm. And that was the that was and snooker. Uh, they found out that people really watched it and they went, it's really popular. But oh, then it no. turns out, but nobody, it, the amount of people that had it on, that they, they all said they had it on in the background. People didn't actually watch it. Oh. And Snooker got this massive amount of advertising and stuff because everyone was watching it, but they weren't. It was a background noise. And I was guilty of that myself a few times. I just liked... I have seen me... The noise. <sighs> I hate sport. All variants. No, it's all garbage. Not a sport I like, apart Computer from games. sumo wrestling and kabaddi. Yeah. Sumo wrestling's great. But um, I, I've lost my chain of thought. It's because I don't play enough sport. You I'm, hate I'm sport. Ventric. I just, I, I fucking, I just, I just, I just hate it. But uh, I don't even know what I was even talking about there. You know, <laughs> when, have you ever found that's happening more and more these days? Hold um, on, I'll do a mental check. Bella Lugosi. No, I'm okay. I got to Bella Lugosi before you did. Uh-huh. Now I'm concerned. I'm, I'm, th- I'm thinking that... But snooker, when I was... The, snooker was massive when I was a kid. A huge. Steve yeah. Davis and him with the upside down specs. Uh, Taylor. Dennis Taylor. Yeah. But it was millions of fucking people watched it. But they didn't. They just had they it didn't. on the background. Ah, interesting. 
Yeah. People will watch sport. They'll listen to sport on the radio. Ah, but I was going to say, when I've got a hangover... Right. ...on a Sunday, in the okay. middle of the day, you're really waning. Okay. And you're just drinking iron and brew and lying there. Right, okay. Just feeding yourself slices of honey roast ham. Okay. Golf's quite nice to have on in the background. Just to light golf noises, applause. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's the very thing. Yeah. It's com- it keeps your mind occupied. I it's like to, it's I a like, psychological thing. I like to listen to jungle noises when I'm drifting off to sleep. Now, I... <laughs> in the rain, just tabling on See, the banana leaves. See, that stresses me hearing that. <laughs> no? No. I used to have the sound of a, a bubbling brook, but no, it made me want to piss. So I, I to, like the sound, because you go through all the sounds on like the You like something lap. really weird. What is it? Cement mixing or something? Air conditioning. Oh, Fuck it. So the kind oh, of noise that drives most people if they're in a hotel puts me to sleep. and it's a really annoying noise, <laughs> yeah. they're like, man, again, no, you okay. No, I like that. That uh, who's that big galuta football player? Could I, be any of them. A tall guy. Liverpool. Oh, I'm not sure. Big 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 he'd like a toenail. Oh, uh Wayne Blonde Rooney. Guy. Oh no, I don't know any of them. <laughs> Wayne Rooney right. used to put a hoover. And switch it on. So it was just a static mm-hmm. sitting there hoovering. And that was that, how we'd get to sleep. That's the golf. That's, that's like the, you as yeah, well. It's like a it. white noise. Yes. Well, I've noticed just now, because the pubs close at 10, the streets are dead quiet. Have you noticed? After 10, it's Dundee's really, nice, really quiet. Because I live right next yeah. to a pub. And I'll tell you something about the pub. I told you the other day, everyone was coughing. Oh. And outside it, there, were, there was a guy being held up at the wall. And he was choking. And it sounded like, I knew someone with CF once. And it was that uh, yeah, cough. Yeah. You're like, oh, fuck. He goes, I cough. Then I heard the other guy saying, well, Tam or somebody, his wife reckons it's the COVID because he's in bed with it. They're getting the doctor in and that. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Then another guy comes out and he's choking. And I'm like, this is like, it's like a movie. Right. So. But they won't stay away from the pub. And I'm looking across, right? And the guy looks at me and he goes, come on in, lads, get back in. So they know, fine. So I'm not thinking about it. Next night, nobody's there. Night after it, they shot at half seven. No one's turned up. Everyone's, they've not returned. Jesus Christ. And it was like I'm being in this. That's the outbreak, yeah. This, yeah, outbreak. I'm like in a movie. Two it's minutes later, you get, there's going to be a scratch terrible. at your door and Tam's yeah. there. Missing his lugs. Exactly. Chewing getting, at you. I was getting all my survival stuff all packed oh, together. Oh, I've, I've got a month's worth of food. I've got a wee, like, a Swiss Army knife. I don't need anything. I'm sorry. No, I've got a baseball bat. Right yeah. behind the door. I wouldn't have lived in a house without a baseball bat. I think you don't you have really a baseball ne- bat. No, you take out a baseball bat. That's an offensive weapon. You'll get done instantly. No, no. But what I've done is I've I've sellotaped a a thing duster right. to it. That's the end. You're fine. <laughs> it looks like a what to do. Anyone watching right. this? If someone a frying pan does anything, frying pan a pot. Pick or up a, mach- a pot yeah. and just go out and walk and say I've I was fucking one. cooking, it was I've in my one. hand I've got one of those big You pick up a baseball bat, yeah, yeah, that's where they get you Even if they come into your house? Uh, yeah Okay We have terrible laws on that But I would, you know what, if someone came into my house Oh I wouldn't have let them leave I wouldn't I would, fucking I'm sorry, care, guys. I will worry about it later I'm sorry guys, <laughs> yeah. there's no leaving here now Yeah I would worry but about Alexa that Alexa would warn me, I can go, if there's a noise in the house Well it's all secure I can go, emergency, and all the lights go Really? Yeah That's wonderful, that's a good thing Because alarms, you used to have to get some dinghy company in Dundee can Trojan Mm -hmm. security, and they'd come Mm -hmm. round Put a thing in the side of your house, pile of shite Nowadays you can just do it for Alexa, it's so cheap The technology is incredible That's good, that's good You you know what you can get from Alexa? Oh Well there's a new Alexa, which is a globe I've seen that Wonderful Okay But you can now get a little drone so, I've seen it and oh! it flies out and it goes around the fucking house. Are you getting it? I'd love it, yeah. Oh, go it for just, it, man. It just goes for a. It just goes for a. Around the house watching. Perimeter, perimeter check. Do you know? You know. I'd strap a little. Amazon and... I'd strap a little jobby to it. So when there's an intruder, it just flows <laughs> down and just hits the, the end of their nose with oh, a jobby. <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, You've got Alexa owned by Amazon, mm-hmm. and Jeff Bezos has a meeting at the Pentagon every month. You're fucked. You've just give it all away. Yeah. <laughs> they know everything about you. But I've I have a got, feeling they've went, switch uh, him off. I've even got an Alexa in my shed. In your shed? Yeah. Oh, God. You my, listen, my to music, house, listen to the music out there. That's, it's not there all the time. It's pretty good. It's Is a it po- portable. Uh, 
I I was kind of thought I don't really fancy them. It's like, but I'm I'm the man that said touch screen technology wasn't going to take off. <laughs> <laughs> he I says a gimmick. That shit's no good one. Yeah. But uh, my mum and dad <laughs> bought it for Christmas. One. I bought my brother and his wife one. We got one. And I thought, oh, I plugged in, and it was just instantly fantastic. Yeah, I was a bit. But you've got about... to get on board. You can't. You've got. You yeah, can. You use, you use it. a fool for it. It does so much. Because even though I love technology, mm-hmm. uh, um, it sounds like the guy out of Napoleon Dynamite. But even though I do love it, and I really yeah. I download manuals all the mm-hmm. time just to read them. Mm-hmm. I'm that dog. Yeah, yeah. But it's got to do what I want to do. You do it well. Yeah. You can, you can now. I got this watch. Yeah. And I was a bit worried about it. Will oh, I actually wow. use it? Oh I my think... god, I fucking love it. Uh-huh. My phone actually sits in the corner now because yeah. I get all my notifications, yeah, yeah. and I really do like it. Like you, it's it 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 it's all linked into the heating system, so you can go really? Alexa. What's the room temperature it tells no. you? Yeah, oh, you're so really it's, sorry. It's, yeah, you're it, ha- you know, looking at you, I thought oh, you'd uh, live in like a lone wolf McQuaid house. But I think you're living oh, in no, heaven. The, the house is covered in shite as well, but Alexa's just sitting on top of these mounds. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting top of the, No, it sounds good. What I'm really wanting. Okay. It's one of those Roombas. I used to call them a Zumba. The, yeah. the robot hoovers. The one snag is it, the cat sometimes does a shite. Oh, and no, I, no. You can't have it. It'll drag it through the house. But it drag it through no the house. There's no shit detectors on them, apparently. Is there not? There's a lot of videos of people walking in and it's like oh, a, a Bobby Sands I remember seeing one and it was the police got called to a house and they went through armed and they burst into the room and it was a Zumba. They thought there was an intruder. I watched oh. one and it was a... a a Swiss airport No sorry The busiest uh, Railway station in Switzerland You can imagine The Swiss are quite organised mm-hmm. There was a guy Sat on top of one of those A uh, Polishing machines Kind of Hoover thing That went yeah. around yeah. But he had a buddy There was a robot A robot And he, oh. he fucking befriended it The way he, he says come on Yeah And he just He, he can anthropomorphise this thing Well this I, was his I buddy. think that's I, You know people say Oh you're anthropomorphise anything And stuff Yeah uh, And the Japanese culture can really They're really, really good at that do, Yeah But I think There's something healthy in that Yeah I don't think it's negative Because say I was watching I, I saw a clip of, I haven't seen Westworld But the concept <sighs> of Treating these robots mm-hmm. Like Killing them Raping them all these terrible acts, mm-hmm. that's a reflection of you. Yeah. So I think if you had robots if and you, you treat them empty, well, but yes. In, in, in this modern world where we waste too much, well, people do it. Lasses give their car a name. Yeah. And if you give something a name and you like it, you look after it more. And yeah. we need people to not just chuck stuff away. We need people to get stuff fixed. My mum and dad have a Kenwood mixer thing. Mm-hmm. And they could just go and get a new Kenwood mixer part missing, but they went and got it fixed. Yeah. That's, that's what we need It annoys me You walk down the street And somebody's thrown out All their st- stuff Hoovers for example I'm not very technically minded But you can fix a fucking hoover That's true Don't And I do buy the parts yeah. For the hoover And fix I fix it Because it's not I, hard to fix well, it saying, I'm saying that the, the washing machine I've got It's one of the It's quite complex It's all automatic It's settings And mm-hmm. all this But the, the some unit in it broke And I was able to replace it Using the internet I got the part for it and took it apart and re- yeah. refitted the thing, refitted it. But uh, we need, we just, we can't be wasting so much shit. Really annoys me. David is, Attenborough was on just saying, don't waste electricity, don't waste water. Yeah. Just be a wee bit more conscious of everything you're doing. But there's a cutoff point. Yeah. And we get the benefits of that. And this mm-hmm. equipment we're using right now. Right. When I started in music and yeah. recording, this equipment that we got here for a few hundred pounds would literally cost tens of thousands. Okay. Now, if this, say this preamp at the top here, it broke. Now, that was £110, including postage. Oh. Now, unless you know how to fix it yourself, to take it to someone is it's, not worth it. Yeah. Just get a new one. Yeah. That's where the cough point is. We okay. get the benefits of cheapness. Yeah. But, you know. It's, yeah, okay. Where every piece of equipment, um, when I was, uh, got into recording audio, uh, the desks maybe coming at 250000 okay. mm-hmm. But there's a second-hand market now, eBay and stuff. It's yeah. really good so for... So every part on it was modular and was designed mm. to be repaired. Right. And, it's and, a sealed and unit so much now. so, you see these faders here? They would all come out and you could swap them. So the ones that were used the most, you moved them. Okay. And you, and you would wear through them at the right. 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 That doesn't exist now. Okay. Because the price this is and the price it is to repair right, okay. it, you buy a new one. But there's, pe- there's people who could even... There's people that can hack anything. 
They can yeah. get in involved and they can fix anything. Yeah. You know my feelings on Adam Savage. But uh, I do like the fact if he's got a thing, he'll, he'll adapt it for his own use. And mm-hmm. he get, that's, that's good. That's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. Yeah, Adam I Savage. I saw Adam Savage the other day drinking Iron Brew. How about yeah, that? somebody sent him some uh, Eternix tea cakes and uh, caramel wafers, which are, yeah, he thought Iron Brew was a bit sweet. Oh. Did he? Wow. Yeah. He started speaking with Scottish accent. I'm sure he's always drinking something but he has it kind of just offshore. I'm sure yeah. he gets sponsored for a lot more than he's letting on. I think so. I think, but I think if you're in that... Wealthy guy. Field, Loads yeah, of money. Wealthy. Loads of money. Because he had all that TV money and TV money is where it's at, especially after many years. Oh, it'll be worth Myth a few Busters. millions, isn't yeah. he? Oh, yeah. Has to the be. thing is, he likes to keep himself busy. He's got an inquiring mind. The, the thing is, no matter how much he um, comes across as a bit of a dick sometimes... Yeah. He does make He does his one day makes he And does he it. is motivated to do that Because you just go I, mm. I don't need anything else yeah. mm. But he is motivated And he does And yeah. he's got so many people Into making Yeah What I like about him is He does a wonderful pr- thing he, he produces a lot of content Yeah If you, if you follow him He's pretty he Subscribed to his stuff He gets a lot of stuff And out that's of what we'll be doing soon Because we'll yeah. be doing extra podcasts But the stuff we'll be doing we'll be, it, oh, we're, You've just, got your only fans oh. One one day build. What could oh. we call it? Not a one day build. <laughs> one hey, uh, listen, he makes what, a what, solder what, iron holder in one day. One I day. built this whole mezzanine in one day. One one day sweat build up. Oh, please don't. One day smeg my build up. Do that on your only fans. Oh god, it's going through the roof, my only fans. Oh. You know what I'm saying? The stuff I've been doing. Belly dance has been very popular with the this. sick fucks that follow you. Oh, oh um, yeah. It's disgusting it's, in it's, every shape it dis- form. It disgusts myself. Yeah. You know, my mum and dad subscribed for a while and they said it's too much for us. <laughs> it's just too much. I saw it's a, not getting us in the mood. A girl on Twitter uh-huh. started her OnlyFans and her first donation was from her dad. Oh! And she was just saying, no, he just signed up, gave her $100 to support her. That's not right. I remember... You remember that terrible Dukes of Hazard movie? Uh, I didn't see it, but I do remember. But there's that. a Jessica, a lassie who was in Simpson. it. Simpson. Jessica Simpson. But her dad was our manager. And I remember the film this bit where she was washing the General Lee mm-hmm. and cut off. Yeah. And she was wet and soaking. And the dad was just watching. She goes, Great rack. I'd be his own daughter. I am suspicious of, you know, stars, ch- child stars and their parents, yeah. shall we say. Yeah. It's a bit, I'm so distant from that. People on this floor, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, yeah, you don't look at people and go, oh, there's women about. I just, no, there's rules. Uh-huh. And I have that way mm. deep in my mind. You're where basically you saying you're not a sex pest. I'm not a se- I hope I'm not. But that's what, that's what sex pests say. That's right. You know, they're very all sex pests are the most woke people on the planet. Going, oh, women. Well, well yeah. yeah. No, I just I, I go from a different point of view where I go bunch of cunts. Everyone, everyone's a cunt. Yeah, that's. I'll I call think. women a cunt, man a cunt. They're all yeah, they're, they're all cunts. cunts a cunt. Gender, I'm them. gender blind, man. Who cares? I'm not gender blind because I like the boobies. Yeah, but it depends where you like the boobies. It mustn't be at work. Never, never at your work. Never. No, no, I don't like that at all. Mm. Because say someone moved in here and I uh-huh. got involved with them and then <laughs> inevitably in- involved. Listen, I'm being polite, you prick. Involved. So imagine you're fucking sexual, <laughs> giving it all the charm. I'm sorry. Have one of us. Oh, have one of us soggy biscuits. Oh God, Jesus man, I haven't heard that term in months. People used to play that the they biscuit did. game. Did it ever really happen? Yeah, it did in my hometown. It... Yeah. Oh, up in yeah, yeah I believe yeah, there. It fucking yeah. did. I believe everything they happened did. up there. Jesus Christ. They but they'd use, they'd use a Tunnock's tea cake, not a digestive. And they'd do it inside it. Oh, I'd always lose. Like a jammy centre. <laughs> no, my do point people is... People still do. Luckily, kids are more in the house using technology and they're not in the shed knocking each other I off. Think... No, I don't... What? Is that what you did? <laughs> no, I didn't do that. Oh but there was... God. People did do it. People would explore each other's bodies. You I've never explored. Yeah, I've heard of this a lot. And people say, yeah, when you're young, you, you know, you're just exploring 
I never, I've never done anything. Got, I never no. got myself into that situation. I never even had a torch. No, God almighty. I didn't Jesus get pubes in my thirties. I just yeah, left no, it be, no, you know. I didn't do anything no, like that. No, but there's always somebody that's a bit gamer than the rest. Uh, yeah, that's true. They're always like, yeah. oh, you know, it's just we're, we're just it's just our age. We're just Sex- experimenting. Sexually precocious. You're like, you're forty three, I'm twelve. I know. Yeah, oh. no, I d- no, I never yeah. I never got that way. But, I, I knew a girl once and I remember I think I went through the sexual growth with sort of matching spurts. my age. It was spots. Just matching my age. It was spots. I met this girl and I was, I think, 23. She was 21. Uh-huh. She was born running. Right, okay. She was into everything. <laughs> Full tilt. Full and tilt was boogie. Like everything. That was uh-huh. her that... We were in the... Did she put her finger up your bum? No, no, no. There was Two a, fingers. Well, I went across to Diggs and uh, uh-huh. St. Andrews. And she was one of the rich kids where oh. she had a toilet oh, there, okay. in her in her little area because en suite en suite mm. they didn't have toilets in there, so th- these were the private decks. Yeah, so okay. went in, and she'd taken a shit in the toilet. Uh huh. And was, then when she come in, she, she showed g- me it. She gave you a knickerbocker glory spoon. She went, look at that. What do you think of that? And I went, what? And she went, doesn't matter. She read the audience really well. She was already experienced at this point. And I went. What? She flushed it, went, come on what through. What was she wanting you to do with Don't it? know. Don't know. Never what, found a, what a wonderful possibility was right there. The Germans call that black pudding lovers. Oh, fuck off. No, <laughs> There's I, people I, that'll I, eat I, it. There's people that'll eat yeah, it. Um, oh, yeah. I wouldn't even eat my own shit. Mild tattooist talked about Even if I was hungry. He knew a girl, um, and I think she was actually German, and she don't throw up in my room, and she uh, <laughs> said she wanted to be the best it's something. And what she was best at was eating shit. And he would talk about her and say, oh, and Would you like the taste? I would you imagine it was like Chambourse, real chocolate mousse? I don't think... I, I, it's the, There has get, to be something wrong with you. It would get... It, yeah. It would, so if it, anyone's it's, watching it's this, like go, no, it's, 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 it's really like a nice. Cho- it's like, You're ill. It's like a chocolate ganache. It would get oh. stuck right between your teeth. It'd be like eating a, a Rolo. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Rolo... We Rolos, st- do you drill with rollers? Yeah, and curly it, 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 it would get stuck to the root, the, the soft palate. Oh, oh. It was disgusting. Yeah, the thing is, there used to be maybe in the, in the world, each town would have somebody that maybe liked their own shite. Dundee, how many folk will like their own shite in Dundee? Six. Maybe I'm, two I'm in not this, a fan. Two in this building. At least. But with internet, they can make worldwide communities. Yeah, and they'll they talk to each other. Like and the guys in the bubble. It's normal yeah, now. Normal. It's like the guys that inject their cocks with silicone. Oh, that was very niche. I, I but now, now, there's, now there's a wee... But a wee. saying that, I think there's really two of them. I think there's just two people that really... They look like Dumbo. Yeah. The elephant. They look like an elephant fetus It now. doesn't look... It's not a good look. There's something psychological the there. I think any... Um, Right, you've got fetish. Inflation. But then as soon as you go beyond a basic fetish, where I, I, I like girls with, ugh, I don't know, black hair. Okay. Right? That's mm, your yeah. thing. As soon as you start moving beyond that, mm. I, I don't think it's sexual anymore. I think there's something else involved. Yeah, all con- yeah and all consuming. Yeah. Cans of beans. I like being covered in cans of beans. Remember that guy, like- Mr. Bino? He used to be on stuff. He did... He, he, Painted themselves the colour of a bean. He went about in the bean mobile and oh. he used to sit in baths with beans. That was a thing back in the day. Beans. Oh. Beans. I like, beans are, I like a I baked like a bean. A baked bean. But I don't uh, wank in it. The whole oh. food thing. No, I don't like it. I'm not a fan of food Cause, anyway. Because there was that, there was that well. nine and a half weeks with Kim Bassinger and there was a famous scene they were like fucking putting stuff on each other at the fridge. I take my partner to the fridge now uh. and I pour just some half eaten jalapenos on her and then I've got some tomato sauce I've got garlic and just oh I've got no but that's the reality that's it that's the sec, that's the Hollywood version but the reality is big lassie if he went field covered and her, in her vegan chicken nuggets he's one leg and they're just smearing each other be- oh yesterday's curry oh I was listening to a podcast the other day and uh, it was about insurance claims in America and there's a wee town in South America, south of the US, mm-hmm. and uh, it's got two thirds of self mutilation cases in America. What? And what they discovered, the, the insurance companies put an end to it. But what they discovered is, if you take out a life, 
America's a land of life insurance. Okay. You can take out policies all day mm-hmm. long. If you take out a life insurance policy, but then you lose two limbs, it pays out. People weren't cutting their fucking fingers and hands off and shit. But they were cutting off, a, the, ideally, you want to cut off your left hand and your right foot. So you could keep writing and you could use a crutch and you could hobble about. And what they're doing, they're going, they're taking out an insurance policy, high premiums, then they're okay. going out on a duck hunt yeah. and blowing off a foot and a hand. The same saw had been used in three cases of uh, amputation, self-amputation. Goodness. A guy said he'd lost his hand and his foot defending his chickens from a fox. What the fuck? And then they were getting, they could get two million. For money. For money. They were willing, such was their oh. desperation, they were willing to imagine. The, the guy was going about, he, the day he lost his hand and his foot, he had two in the keys in his pocket. They said, why have you got two in the keys in your pocket? He said, I always carry them. And he was driving about in his wife's automatic truck, which he never drove. This is incredible. And that's, that is a I saw a case just a couple result. of weeks ago steely in Ukraine result. or something, where yeah, like, a girl result. cut her hand off. Did she? Uh, you for get, insurance, but she's been imprisoned for fraud. <clears throat> Do you, you get that cases where people take umbrage with a limb. This, it's a common, yeah, not and uncommon. the one rid of this limb. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they just hate a limb, and they just they need they'll they'll do stuff to damage it till it's eventually removed. They'll let it go gangrenous and all kinds. I've of seen there was I watched the documentary I'm not about a fan a guy. Of this thumb. Yeah, fuck but you, I'll, I'll thumb. Have, fuck you, you thumb bastard. But he wanted rid of his leg, right. just the lower right leg, and he wanted to pay to remove it. No one would do it. So he went, no problem. Went on the t- train tracks. <laughs> oh, got it chopped right off. And a week later, you see him, and he's in his wheelchair recovering, going, Happy I've as fuck. Never, this is great, I'm free from it. I'm oh, free from this leg. Extraordinary. And I think that's the same thing as people eating shit. Where have the, what have you got to? This is, everything's just went too far. It's like, you just need to, dude, spring it back a bit. Can if you're walking down the street, and uh, you don't walk in the cracks in the pavement, it's a thing you did when you were a kid. Do you kid. think it's just the same as that? But, but you can you choose to do it, but yeah. the certain, I think you get into a mindset where you have to. You yeah. cannot stand in the cracks. And yeah. I don't know what that switch is that changes over to a, a silly it, thought. Taking it down that same route, when you don't walk under a ladder because it's unlucky, is that something you tell children? Because walking under a ladder, there could be but someone it is, working. It is a stupid thing to do, and it yeah. Is, yeah, so you say it's unlucky to do that because maybe kids, they don't think that and, it, and these things grow and it's the psychological, you know, it's a bit like, um, you, you, I used to do it when you'd go on stage to play a gig. Uh-huh. I had your little rituals. Oh God, yeah. But the rituals don't, you don't decide them. You, they start because I found, right, okay, I'd go on, before I went on stage, uh-huh. if my pick for the guitar mm-hmm. wasn't stuck in the strings, I'd have a bad gig. Because one day I went on and I went, where's my, where's my pick? You know, because I, I, I'd have a load of picks, uh-huh. but you'd always play with this one. Uh-huh. And I, I looked, oh, I left it in my strings and I pulled it out and I played a great gig. So I knew if it was in there, I'd play a great gig. Oh, well, most people have lucky socks. Football exactly, players. yeah. And it's underpants. all nonsense because you're at that age, you know, in your late teens early 20s where these things can sort of take hold your your frontal lobe hasn't kicked in yet no so you'll take risks but at the other side of it you'll also start believing ridiculous shit well, those and when CDs I hit 26 thing, yeah. yeah that all disappeared no oh. it just went it just, around that age group it just went just I mean went. that's all nonsense he matured then the yeah. OCD thing they'll do hand cleaning and a ritual or mm-hmm. it's sometimes good to have a little bit of ritual when you're leaving the house you check your pockets make sure you've got your stuff oh Christ it takes me about an hour to get away here. I always I, forget something I pulled the shutter down I got to come back in for my car keys pull oh. the shutter down come back in House keys. Oh, I forget everything. Christ, you should maybe have a wee hook. You put all your stuff in. I've Susan got hook. next door comes out to check. Have you got everything? Oh, poor Susan. Poor, it's poor ridiculous. Susan. Have a hook and just put all your keys in it next to the door. I know. I do that in the house. Oh, I do yeah, have I do, that. Yeah. I have that. I've got my, 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 my hooks for all the different stuff. Well, you're very organised. I'm an organised person. My keychain's getting out of hand. I've got too many keys on I'm it. not organised at all. You may have noticed. No, I've noticed. It's sc- scatological. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... But th- this is okay in here. It's quite organised. It seems think? to be. It seems to be. I've got... I prepare. I, I have things... Yeah, I'm not bad. No. I try. 
But yeah, this whole, I think it, this, when you're younger, you, you're sus susceptible to these things because the actual thing that makes you take risks and challenge yourself, uh -huh. the kind of tempers in your mid-20s because the frontal lobe, Is it the that's the lobe, same so. thing okay. that makes you get a bit OCD and... Uh. You start, and, and maybe at that age you get in into control of religion, oh, yeah. you get into beliefs. Oh, religion. At night I go through the channels and there's a, the, the Bible network. Have you ever stumbled that onto I that? I love all that. But what I've noticed about them is, I don't know a religious person, but mm -hmm. they're not very good orators. It doesn't, all, it doesn't matter. I know the content's going to be a bit, wee bit fruit loopy, but the way they're terrible. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's a casual you'll find styled ones. Hey guys, there's a guy who's like this kind of hipster. He looks like a K-pop guy, but he's a fifty-year-old with a K-pop haircut. Yeah, and he was just dealing with COVID, and he's just like that. You know, that's, Jesus that's, is still. You're not alone. Jesus is in the room here. But there's a magic to that. There is a magic to that, and I saw a lot more of this, and actually in person, uh, in the states. I'm writing the Bible Belt, mm -mm. and there's a lot of it going on. And I thought these people, when you talk to them, mm. you'll feel like the only person in the room. You'll be oh, that that's... there's none of that. No, it's not very good quality right. because you're not allowed to argue with it because it's God, and that's a whole other power okay. that they have over you. You could just go out. I could have went out and t started talking shit, and no one would argue because it's about <sighs> Jesus. And right. there, there would be someone who would agree with me and listen. I could just make anything up. And I like found that. Tent, tent revival guys used to go about same, still do it. Yeah. yeah, same thing. But it's a lot, fine, be, 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 be as religious as you want, but I don't like it when it's all financial. Oh, well, you yeah. You send us money. You see their, um, their, their houses and they're worth 20 million and you're like... There's one guy, there's who, no, who's the guy at the super church? And when there was that uh, big... Alstein. When there's a big gay, a big flood, he refused to let people yeah. in. He says, "No, no, 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 the public can't seek shelter in here." Yeah. Imagine Alstein. that church saying, "No, you can't, he can't get, uh, you know, sanctuary." Alstein's worth, yeah, uh, hundreds of millions. They always come to an end eventually. There's always a scandal. Always a scandal. Well, it was the two. I forget their name. One looks like a, a literal demon, like a gremlin. But they were doing a wonderful uh, thing that appeared on YouTube. Is that with the COVID? And no, they were both, that's the same one, we just blown it away. But they were talking about why they have to have so many jets. Okay. And their private jets. Jeez, that's, they, that's ballsy, They isn't can't it? sit. So, uh, uh, one guy was flying back in his private jet and, and, and God said to him, what do you think of your jet? And he went, well, I like it. And he says, no, but what do you think? Why do you, why, you know, and he goes, I really, I, I like it. And he says, it allows you to do more work. He says, if I had to sit on a plane with demons, that's what he calls the public. He says, I couldn't stand up and talk to God like that. He says, because there's always someone wanting you to pray for them or, and it is, and then this guy has private planes that he flies himself. He has, he bought Tyler Perry's jet and he has all these different jets and they're just so extraordinary. Tyler Perry Have you ever watched the Tyler Perry film? I've never seen uh, the ones as, he's dressed as a lady and yeah. uh, they're not good. I've never seen one. Because I thought I bet they're just silly bullshit and it's uh, a very family orientated nonsense which is fine. That's, uh, that's okay. Mm, that's where jet. you can make a lot of money. But they've got all these fucking jets. God tell, told me to get a jet. There was, where I lived there was a uh, a church I don't know if it even was a church What you call them I suppose it would be a church This brick building Up from us And When the Pastor mm -hmm. Arrived He was in this white limo And he'd come out And I swear to you This white guy Dressed like a pimp With a cane And he had Two uh, on People on either side of him And they were all clapping him As he came into the church And I went Is that real? What am I watching? It was real, and it was just local old folk going to it, and they were all enjoying this sermon, and then he'd come out, and they'd all clap him, and he'd get into his car. It's like... Had the big hat and everything. Churches back in the day, in the big cathedrals, they were dealing with a populace that were illiterate. Yeah. So the stained glass and that was to create like a God on mm -hmm. it, again, heaven on earth. Yeah. You were just bamboozled by it. You didn't really need to particularly understand it. Yeah. And I sometimes think that they are taking advantage of maybe folk that aren't particularly educated. Now, and that's quite unpleasant. My mum uh -huh. had a visitor. Oh, God. The local, and, the local minister. And I'm doing the garden. I'm, I'm, I'm 
cleaning the garden up for her and doing all this shit. And it was the local minister. And he's a lovely guy. Right. But he come across and they, they, they were sitting outside and I went and got them a cup of tea and the whole thing, you know. I mean, I do not like religion or that, but I'm never rude to anyone. And uh, he says, why are no young people coming to the church? And I'm just staying out of it. And he says, do you have any idea? I went, I actually do. But you don't want the answer. Yeah. He went, I do want the answer so I could, you know, stop it. And I said, do you know what's done it? The internet. Yeah. And he went, yeah, people just wasting their time. I went, no, 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 no. I said, religion for years has worked on the premise that they have the knowledge. Yeah. And you have to go through someone. Yeah, yeah. But now knowledge has been spread to everyone. Yeah. They're being educated and they can tell it's bullshit. Yeah, well... I think it's maybe the boomers are a wee bit susceptible on Facebook. Yeah. They don't have that... Uh, People have been educated. I think yeah. that's a big part of it. But, no, but young, equally, folk, young folk would still go to church. Uh, Justin Bieber now, there's that super church. I think... It's just the Church of Scotland's a bit a time, dowdy, isn't it? Yeah. In a time of tremendous uh, technological growth. And the, the great second technological revolution happened about 12 years ago. <laughs> where we're, you know, at the stage we're at now. And... What happens in a time of that when people don't understand the technology around them? They're more susceptible to voodoo and superstition. It's magical. Yes. I have no idea how a TV works. People Basically. who design TVs have no idea how TVs work. No. No. It's, it's, I think that's what it is. I yeah. mean, look, we're surrounded by, incre- and a lot of people who watch this uh, understand there are, there all are this some and churches incredibly in, intelligent. There is some, there is some churches in Dundee that are, they're stacked outside. Yeah. The ones in the Perth Road, the yeah, kind of evangelical ones. Exactly, the more extreme ones. Yeah. That's what's surviving. They're the mm. ones that are getting it because people I don't are like feeling it when a bit lost. One. People are feeling a bit lost. And when anyone feels a bit lost in life, especially when you're surrounded by technology, but you maybe feel more isolated, but you, these but, people. But you will watch a program on BBC and someone will say, Yeah, yeah, God spoke to me. Mm hmm. And, and like, it's perfectly acceptable. It's perfectly acceptable to say that. But yeah, if I God say spoke me, and alien not, spoke to me, not just like, not just a feeling, an actual voice. They've heard the voice in their head telling them to do something. The thing is, a lot of religion. You'll have ministers who are on the TV, mm-hmm. and I don't think they even believe in God as such. Oh yeah, I believe. Yeah, I, you know what I mean. They, they, that, they, yeah. they like the system of the church. They think it does a lot of good work. They like the mm-hmm. tenets of the Bible. But I don't the guys who are really theolog- theologians mm-hmm. that go to university, they've studied it. I, I think they've intellectualized the whole thing away. Yeah, I don't think they believe because it's. If you think about it, it's fucking mad. Now, wasn't this? Now, here's an example of it. You have young men joining the army. Yeah. Right, and then uh, I think in the nineties um, they were trying to educate. Squaddies, uh-huh. essentially, they were trying to get them a degree, really bring the army up. No, and they were all getting the degree, and the left went, "Wait a minute, we don't yeah. need to fight." We no. do and they were, they were out thinking. They weren't dogs of war anymore. They no. were being educated, and well, you're like, "Yeah, the army, it, does, it doesn't a, work." A squaddies just got to do exactly what he's told all the time. Yeah, and yeah. beyond. But I don't like the way. That's what I always thought. They always mm-hmm. say that they're, they're developing super soldiers. Yeah. And they'll be breeding the next generation of the military in tanks. You're like, no, just just open a recruiting office in any rundown place in the country. And you've got it. But yeah. I hate, there's, there's adverts popped up for the the army recently, and they're always just skiing. They're always having a great time, and there's women and the skiing women, and bikinis. And beaches. You're like, that's fucking disgusting. That should not be allowed. Well, that's the way they do it. And it's like, now, all my family were mm-hmm. military. Yeah. And they all come out, and you go, you're in there, and they're... They're flying helicopters, yeah. they're in charge of tanks and yeah. multi-million yeah, yeah. pound equipment. They come out and they're Nothing. taxi drivers. No. They're, this is what happens. You do not come out of the army with a great no. career in front it's of you. It's army based. That's it. I suppose if you're a dog, a dog handler, you could be a dog walker. You could walk a dog, that's you right. You dogs. My, he, my cousin he, was a mechanic. And he worked on multi-billion pound ships, Aye. fucking aircraft yeah. carriers, everything. He comes yeah. out and they're like, yeah, but what are you going to work on here? Aye. There's nothing. Nothing. Even uh, to work on like boats here, he had to retrain. Engineers, guys building bridges and that. Uh, maybe, but you have to retrain to yeah, a different yeah. kind of world. Yeah. Tough. yeah. So you, you come out starting again. But there's a structure. <clears throat> it's being told what to do. I think that hampers a lot of them when they go out. 
it, they're left to their own devices. It was very difficult. I remember back in the eighties, people like structure. My uncle, he he'd finally retired, right? And half past six on a a Saturday morning, he's banging on the door to visit my dad. And I, what? And I answered it. He's like, "Why is no one up?" <laughs> <laughs> to shut the door on. And I shut the door on him Aye. And locked it And just went back to bed And he got me down He went Your son opened the door He went <sighs> when? He says I was there at half past six exactly He says I was there earlier So I waited outside So you come up at half past oh, that's six weird. Knocked on the door And, and was furious And he goes You're lucky my son didn't tell you to fuck off But do you off. not feel a lot of the army Though they'd be just sitting in their arse They're not marching all the time no, I no, don't no, know the reality but there's be a lot of downtime. Of course. What do you do? I in think in day? war there's a lot of downtime. That's yeah. But any wartime film you watch, it's like go 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 go. Yeah. But I think the reality a lot of people. Yeah, that did. Isn't happen. it like ninety percent yeah. boredom, ten percent? You watch like stuff Being about terrified. like Jughead. Is it Jug- Jarhead? Jarhead. That's, they do. They do, they nothing. do nothing. Yeah. They do nothing, and then something might happen. A fucking IED goes off, which will be dramatic. Yeah. But the rest of the time, I, they're playing like um, a lot of American soldiers just play. Call of Duty or Yeah I read in, There was a thing about uh, uh, World War One On the front line uh-huh. And it wasn't the front line Was just A blaze no. the, it, They'd be fighting up there And it'd come towards them yeah. In a wave Then pass them And then they'd see it go Miles away again oh. And it'd come back again I never and, fancied the army But they, I don't Would they do it now But I remember when I was at school The army used to rock up yeah. With like jeeps And then the cool whole uniform stuff. And you get a shot at a gun you shot at a gun and I, yeah. Would they be allowed that now? I don't know if schools would have that in it now, but like locally, we have schools that are attached very closely, someone like to the Black this, Watch. This, and someone that. told me this may be a this may be a myth, but they're saying that they're not wanting to teach in school anti-capitalism. So, a 1984 is no longer on the school curriculum. What? 1984 and the Animal Farm. That's it. May be just one of these things. I've seen a headline. Yeah. And it's all bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, but they're trying to. They're trying to just control a little bit of the information. There was a lot of um, banned books, banned books because the language and that. And you're like, don't ban them, don't ban Tom Sawyer, don't ban America. You know, I think we've mentioned this before. America, when it was the top dog, it didn't have to rely on its own education because it could just cherry pick the brightest minds in the world. Yeah, they've they've not invested in their education. Other countries are in ascendancy. They're going to lose out when America's. When it goes, America's de- declines get be quite I hope sharp. Not, because you know what, I know. America's a fucking oh, great, yeah, place. great place. I love it. But you know what I mean? The, loved like it. any what American film have you ever watched mm-hmm. where education is seen as a good thing? That's, the cool kids now, are always the ones. I was who surrounded are, by people. Yeah, the education was. It wasn't like oh they're nerds. Ugh. Yeah, it was. I'm suspicious of yeah. smart people. Yeah, that's, a, that's that not was quite good. That's that was not, not good. good. It was, that's not good. They're allowing. I don't know anything. I'm proud of it. Okay, well like, off people are getting a decent education, yeah. but like, fuck, what's wrong with us daft days? I mean, working yeah. class people produce. It's like um, there was a thing I was watching the other day, and it was a a Second World War, a bombs that had been left, bomb disposal guys. They're right. Okay. And they say something like, "Say four can half of bombs that were dropped in London didn't go off." Right, okay. And the reason behind this is the Germans thought that women should just be in the house having kids. Mm-hmm. So women didn't play any active part in the war machine. Okay. So they weren't in the factories, and instead they used slave labour. Mm-hmm. And slave labour people were like, fuck this. So every set, every, everything, everything was every, broken. They broke everything, everything yeah. they could get their hands on. Whereas in this country, everybody, women were in the factories putting the munitions together. Mm-hmm. So that short sightedness contributed to Germany losing the war. You're right, just okay. thinking women aren't much good for anything. Yeah. It's insanity. Mm-hmm. Half your population, and it was in this country until not that long ago. Yeah, women are. Women just haven't got the stuff. Do you know what I like about World War Two? That they yeah. found out that women, young women, are mm. as psychopathic as young men. When well, they were test flying Spitfires, they yeah, had to there's go a lot of female trials, pilots, isn't there? To balance them, the women would go out and hang on the wing. Jesus Christ. And they would just fly around the airfield. Come down, fix their lip, and well, way the, back to work. They, they discovered in like the first Mental. world war. Discovered in the first world war that most people, most soldiers were missing on purpose. That's that's 
all wars. People do don't that. like yeah, you. They don't like it. But they realised this. The, yeah. the authorities realised this. So they, they, they changed the training method mm-hmm. to get people so you're just automatically doing it. When you give people time to think, they see a person in the distance. Oh, I'm not gonna, most, I'm not why the fuck him. should I shoot him? Yes. This is, and this that is all been on wars. both sides. In the um, civil war in America, yeah. people would stand in battle Mm-hmm. Get shot to death One guy was found with like 20 holes in him Right Hadn't have fired his gun The gun was um, Musket He'd reloaded it And reloaded it And reloaded it Until the, the Musket balls were at the end of the gun But he wouldn't fire And this, They just talk about this one guy But they found it everywhere mm. People weren't want, They weren't want to kill anyone That's very, It's a very yeah. natural thing Not it's to a kill anybody thing, isn't it? People go in a war Right it's, now It's quite and a will, thing To kill somebody They will shoot all the time They will be right at the front Yeah 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 They will be taking on Fights and everything <laughs> oh, but They haven't killed anyone Oh that's kind of interesting Yeah it's, it's, And they have to In battle You have to include These numbers Yeah So you have to get More people Once the drones uh, It's all finished It's all the drones Will do it's it Give me those Fucking four legged Those dog The dog robots. things I saw a clip the other day on YouTube and there was one walking down the street and people were filming out of the car and stopped, looked at them, frozen. Uh, they went on its way and they went, Whoa! Have you seen the one? It's campuses in America, the little robots go about delivering yeah, stuff. it's the, the little um, yellow ones. Uh, and, yeah. And on that terrifying note, ladies and a gentlemen. Robot. Now, if you want special little uh, private words with us on our little podcast we're about to Can do. Can I, is this, do we take our trousers off now? No, don't, no. please, okay. it's not like that. Ladies and gentlemen, wash your wash balls. Wash your fucking balls. Wash your polished balls. God, there'll be nothing left of them by they'll now. They'll be right? like marbles. They'll be Two perfect awful. marbles. We're going to find new medical problems. Yeah, they'll be like those, you know those crystal, Never seen those Aztec crystal skulls. Oh, they'll just be like them. Terrible. You can see the future. Gaze into your balls and see the future. Later. Ta-da.